Hello everyone, this is Marcel Vilassa. I am here today to talk about group reporting. This is the new consolidation tool in S4 HANA. I'm gonna walk through to the main applications here available in Fiori Launchpad. Let's see how to prepare master data, how to check information, to check financial statement items, which works as a group consolidation account. And then the main applications here, data monitor and consolidation monitor. Let's upload as well a template containing external data for data collection and much more, okay? If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, like and uh, activate here the notification to receive more good videos like this. Let's take a look on the system. Here we have the Fiori Launchpad with some groups here. I will click in group reporting. I have prepared here some tiles, some important tiles contain information about organizational unit, financial statement version, which is GL account group. We got as well here, the group hierarchy, and we have the data monitor, consolidation monitor, which are the closing activities for group reporting. Let's have it here our walkthrough to have an overview about this component. Set global parameters. It works just like to set default values to display reports or run some application. I'll set up here the consolidation group I have prepared, CG1. This is the best practice one available here for test. Um, version, keep in mind version works as actual planet, uh, budgeting, forecast, predictable. It is at the same level of category, which is uh, the kind of version of data, uh, amount data. Fiscal year, period, and consolidation chart of accounts, Y1. Okay, let's click here, parameters defined. Consolidation unit, we can select here. There are a lot of consolidation unit. I'm gonna show you some that we are gonna work right now. In consolidation unit, we have some important information such as um, fiscal year variant, the source local currency amount, if we got here um, a local amount or a group currency amount. We have here the currency translation, and as well as if you are fetching information from the universal journal. In this case, I'm not fetching information here, which is data collection from any transaction from the S4 HANA business suite. I will use a template to upload data into this group reporting model. Down here, we got some descriptions in different languages. Okay, I will go back one more time. We have two applications here, manage group structure in group view or unit view. You can add here the group and check what kind of organizational unit is in a lower level of that group. We have here a unit view where you can add here your organizational unit such as enterprise. Keep in mind, organizational unit is at the same level of company code. Then we can check in this application what are the groups that containing that company code inside? We can have a organizational unit assigned to multiple groups, right? It depends of your structure. Definition of the financial statement items. Financial statement items is at the GL account group level. And for example, we can join here in account liability, for example. We have it here liabilities and equity for this account, this financial statement type. We have a breakdown structure. Getting down here, lots of important information. For example, regarding liabilities, we are triggering the eliminations to this target. Eliminations are important activity in group reporting because we are equalizing here all the balance into the main balance and consolidation balance. So we have to trigger the elimination uh, FS item. 
We have also here an elimination selection here, which is a key containing which kind of method we are going to use. Also, we have a key for translation, data collection, all defined in customizing, right? And uh, this is important to define consolidations and method for translations. Keep in mind, you have to go to financial statement item level. Again, this is the geo account for the group consolidation. Here we have an application to map group GL account, which is financial statement item, map it to general ledger account. Then we can change this as we want. Um, we can import and export file here. Then we can load using a template. Here we have the option to upload by template. We can have here a download file. We click here to download a clear template to populate from scratch, or we can download the existing template. When you click here, the system asks which consolidation chart of accounts. Um, if you have a particular, the consolidation one, the chart of accounts, YCOA, which is the accounting chart of accounts, then immediately we download the existing data to make some changes and upload into the system. Important information here, we have a master data for consolidation as well. In consolidation level, we can we have to define master data such as profit centers, segments, cost centers. We can do that. We can do this manually and we can do by importing consolidation master data. And at the end, we got two applications here for the closing activities. In global parameters, we have added the period tree. I'm gonna click here with the right mouse button to open the period in overall column. Uh, this column works like uh, we have here the CG1 group. In a lower level, we got the company codes, which are the organizational units. If you put here in global parameters, we can do the closing activities for only one organizational unit. So the screen has changed. Instead, we have a group here in the higher level, we have the organizational unit. And those columns containing closing activity steps are right now uh, displayed as a rows here. I'm gonna get back here. I want to keep my view at the group level. And then instead rows, we got columns, uh, period three. And right now, this is the data collection. I'm gonna select the data here. Let me update. In the update screen, we click here in flexible upload. I'm gonna use here the methods from dot and comma, it's asr d2. Let me confirm. All right, this is the physical file name. Let me show you the file. This is the file containing several columns format. I will keep here in the video descriptions here in YouTube, get down at the description session. Take a look here in a link. I will upload this file just to let you keep a template to be used further if you want to try in your site, right? Let me get back to the Fiori. Okay, file selected. The file format is gonna be ASC, application server, detailed log. And then execute. After data collection execution, the file is gonna be displayed in this log. All the columns with data from the template is displayed here. And some warnings message is gonna drive you to correct something, for example, here says consolidation unit and partner unit are identical is something that is present in our template. We can go back, change and upload it again. Okay, I will keep this. I will click back. It's only for testing. After the step completed, look at this, the data column is ready. 
And then we have another step here, calculate net income. Then we can click in the first row to update every, every row because first row is at the group level. You can go ahead one by one if you want. Click here, right mouse pad, and go updating. And uh, activating here, the update run in the first row, you can do for all company codes at once. Uh, we got validation here. Our validation is here painting for something, and then it's going to be in red at this moment. Let me get back. There's a system error inside. Just for a review, we have manual postings. We have current translations for company codes outside the group company code. All right. And uh, current translations we got here, uh, a report as well in a log, say what kind of uh, amount is being calculated. And uh, because the group here is in euro, only USA company in dollars both two is considered here in this translation. Let's get back. Okay, current translations. And at the end of the data monitor, we got update run. Data monitor is the closing activity at the organizational unit level. After that, I will go back here, click more, go to consolidation monitor. We had a tile out there containing these steps. Uh, the consolidation monitor proposed here is to run eliminations. And as we can see, we can go ahead here and click right mouse button, update run again. And then all the step must be covered, right? Logs is gonna be displayed like this containing all eliminations from the process. And uh, three company codes were involved here in eliminations. And uh, you can check, you can click here to export to a spreadsheet. It's available to be displayed here. Then uh, within a spreadsheet, as long every analytic reports here in S4 HANA, we can go using Microsoft Office for Excel tools to review, apply some uh, uh, formulas and so on to analyze data. Back here, I'll click back. I'll click in SAP logo, group reporting again. After consolidation monitor, we have to run every step over there. We have here manage global hierarchies. These are hierarchies uh, in order to have report displayed. We have lots of them. And uh, this is an evolution of financial statement version. Hierarchies we can maintain here manually in this style. Then uh, we can click edit. Here we have all the nodes from the structure, all the way right. We have here this column containing an icon with a plus icon to add the structure here. Or you can click in three dots to import nodes from a template. Uh, you can also go here manually, expand all the nodes until the FS item level. When you click here in FS item, you have here the option to update everything related to FS item if you want. I'll click cancel. I'll go back from this manage global hierarchy app. Okay, here at the end we have group data analysis, which is the standard report to run consolidation group. We got here financial fiscal year period from the parameters entered in the first tile that I have run today. Click go to display the consolidation group. Here we have more options. We have lots of columns here in rows. We have selections fields additional uh, in this adapt filter. We can uh, pull up a report from consolidation unit, profit center segment, FS items, and uh, lots of other selection field. You can click here, navigation panel. The dimension is being displayed left side, containing all dimensions available. You only can click here in rows or columns. 
you can also click here to export to Excel or PDF or click here in the button to maximize and see all the structure in the screen. Here we got lots of things. We have our organization consolidation unit. We have financial statement item, partner unit. The partner unit is equivalent here to consolidation unit in eliminations. For example, we have a here a source consolidation unit, and then we have a target consolidation unit here, and lots of important information regarding consolidation process. Okay, this is it for today. Uh, I hope it was helpful. It was an overview regarding consolidation group. Do you think it's useful or not? Please leave your comment. If you want to have more information about this presentation, if you are looking for different, different information that was not mentioned here during the presentation, leave your comment here. It's gonna be a pleasure to let you know more about this very good component, group reporting. I used to put lots of links used in the presentation description as well. Then you can check. Thank you very much. Please subscribe this channel if you are not subscribed yet. Click here to activate notifications and click like if you think this video was useful for you. And I uh, hope to see you around.